What's going on people, I'm Waterfields1, welcome to the PS4 News where I round up all the headlines from the world of PlayStation. If you're new around here then please do hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and of course turn notifications on. But with that said, let's do it. First up this week, Remedy Entertainment have purchased the publishing rights to their game Alan Wake. Yes, the Xbox exclusive Alan Wake. Now they purchased it from Microsoft for 2.5 million euros and it now gives them the opportunity to release the game on any platform that they wish to do so. Meaning that the now previously Xbox exclusive Alan Wake could indeed be released on the PlayStation 4. Now upon questioning Remedy responded with that they could bring Alan Wake to different platforms if we so choose. However, they are currently fully focused on the release of upcoming title Control. Now reading between the lines, I'm going to say that I think we can safely presume at this stage that Alan Wake will be coming to the PlayStation 4 in the near future. Now I've never played it, but I've heard very very good things about it so it certainly looks like a game to look forward to. Destruction Derby fans rejoice because developer Bugbear Entertainment have confirmed the PS4 release date for Wreckfest and it will be released on the 27th of August 2019. Now I have no idea why the Destruction Derby series actually stopped. I mean, I've never heard anybody mutter a bad word about Destruction Derby. But nonetheless, if you've got any Destruction Derby woes whatsoever, it does look like Wreckfest will be able to soothe those on August the 27th. Marvel Spider-Man Update 1.16 is now live. It adds two new costumes based on the recently released Spider-Man Far From Home. Of course, it's a marketing message, but they are completely free of charge, and I love free stuff, so happy day. Stranger Things Season 3 is out now. I'm about halfway through, so please, no spoilers, but to celebrate its release, there is a free theme on the PlayStation Store. It costs you absolutely nothing, of course, which is great. And as I said, I love free stuff. Skybound Games have announced The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive series, which puts all four seasons and associated DLC in one box. So you can enjoy the whole saga from beginning to end. End. However, they have actually done a few more improvements to the entire series, which is pretty cool. The re-release hopes to unify the experience with an overhaul of the visuals called Graphic Black. Now, this new art style doesn't change things dramatically, but it gives all four seasons a uniform look that's closer to the original graphic novel, which sounds pretty cool, to be fair. Hopefully, this is the last time I ever have to talk about Telltale's The Walking Dead, but that is The Walking Dead, the Telltale definitive series series scheduled for release on the 10th of September 2019. The Six Skulls update for World War Z is now live. It adds the extreme difficulty setting. Now, if you manage to complete the game on the extreme difficulty setting, then you can unlock the MK110 sniper rifle to use, which is pretty awesome. That is the Six Skulls update for World War Z live now. Lots and lots of rumours circulating this past week as to why Pez 2019 was dropped from the PlayStation Plus lineup. Well, Konami have confirmed that it was all Sony's decision and absolutely nothing to do with them. So what we now know is that the backlash worked. We got a good game in the shape of Detroit Become Human, of course. So yeah, well played PlayStation community, well played. Developer WayForward have revealed retro-style game River City Girls, scheduled for release on September the 5th, and... I don't know what else to say about this, there's a trailer, let's just move along. More rumours have emerged this week with regards to the release date of The Last of Us Part 2. A post on a Chinese forum has suggested that the game will release in February 2020, which is just the same as another rumour we had about sort of two to three months ago. Now following on from that rumour, the same user also commented that there will be four versions of the game released. They'll have the standard, the special edition, the collector's edition, and the Ellie edition. So whatever that is, who knows? But Naughty Dog, just please put us all out of our misery, do the right thing, announce the release date. 
please. One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 has been confirmed for PlayStation 4 with a release window of 2020. The reveal trailer is out now. It's a Dynasty Warriors style game, but that is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 confirmed for PS4 in 2020. Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2, the free-to-play team-based action shooter game, has been confirmed for a Western release by Bandai Namco. It's going to launch this year. That's the window we've got. We've got a 2019 release window. And the game, of course, was released in Japan in 2018. But that is Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operations 2, the free-to-play game launching this year on PS4. Metal Wolf Chaos XD will launch on the PlayStation 4 on Western Shores on the 6th of August this year. Now, this re-release of the 2004 game comes with enhanced visuals, a new save system, and updated controls. But that is Metal Wolf Chaos XD launching on the 6th of August. Codemasters racing game Grid has been delayed by an additional month. Its new release date is the 11th of October 2019. Basically, they've said it's really, really good, so they want more time to market the game, etc., and reveal bits and pieces over the next month or so, but that is Grid launching on the 11th of October 2019. NIS America is bringing remastered versions of Langrissa and Langrissa 2 to the PlayStation 4 in early 2020. It's the collection called Langrissa 1 and 2. Now Langrissa is a series of strategy role-playing games that sketches back to the 1990s. It's been missing on home consoles for over a decade, however it last appeared on the PlayStation back in 2005 when Langrissa 3 was re-released on the PlayStation 2. So there you go, Langrissa 1 and 2 launching on the PlayStation 4 in 2020. I have absolutely no idea if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong so I can only apologize here and now. My my how the mighty have fallen because Konami have announced that Manchester United are official partners of Pro Evolution Soccer 2020. Yes they have the official licenses for Manchester United but they no longer have the license for Liverpool. It's funny that because Liverpool won the Champions League and Manchester United are just plummeting into an abyss at the moment. But yes, Manchester United are the official, official partners of Pro Evolution Soccer 2020. It's a sad, sad situation for Manchester United. Just to clarify, I'm a Norwich City fan, so I have no care about this story, actually, because we are Premier League, say we are Premier League. Ubisoft have confirmed the next episode in Assassin's Creed Odyssey's The Fate of Atlantis DLC will launch on the 16th of July. It's called Judgment of Atlantis and it'll be the third and final installment and the very last slice of DLC included in the game season pass. So that is the Judgment of Atlantis launching on the 16th of July and it's the final bit of DLC for the season pass. The final story of the week as always is your UK game sales chart and starting at number 10 is FIFA 19. Number 9 is Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Number 8 is Grand Theft Auto 5. It will never leave the top 10 again, I'm telling you right now. Number 7 is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Number 6 is The Sinking City. Number 5, Days Gone. Number 4, Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 3, Judgment. Number 2, F1 2019. And holding strong at number 1 is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. There you have it. That's it for another week of PlayStation 4 news. If you're new around here and you want to stay up to date, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Smash the like button if you enjoy the content. And of course, if you want to see more of this stuff, let me know in the comment section below. Alan Wake, what are your thoughts? Will you buy it? Will you play it? Let me know in the comment section below. I am Waterfields1. This has been the PS4 News. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. See you later.